Hey guys, what is up? Orvet 11 b 18 x back at you again today. We're gonna go back into the pro career, finish playing this tournament. Remember, you also have a chance to win $50 gift card if you like, subscribe, and comment in every video that I have up until February 14th. make it clear every time you send a comment or you like it or you subscribe it you're in one entry point into your chance for the drawing write down everybody's names every day that's commented or liked the videos EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live first-round coverage of the International Challenge. Always great to be in Troon, Scotland at the Royal Troon Golf Club, founded in 1878. Frank, it is a golf course, true links, it's bathed in history. And we pick up action at the fourth. Early in the round and playing reasonably well. Nothing great, but has certainly not given a whole lot away. Yeah, and actually a good, good position to really springboard the round from here. Great line, what a great shot. He has really hit it a long way. Nice position, short grass, second shot. Should be safely on deck. Oh, well, it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Set to go. Not an easy shot by any means. On the green, and a chance for birdie. Just the tap in to finish the hole. A birdie will send him to one under on the leaderboard. Now to the par three fifth. Frank, what are you trying to do here? Really, anything on this green is going to give you a birdie putt. So allow for the bounce and roll. Just avoid those three bunkers on the left and that short one right. Mm, just a beautiful approach shot. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. It is a four-round tournament, setting himself up for a good weekend, maybe a great one. The young star makes his birdie. Frank, it's all about the difficult rough off the right-hand side of the green here at the hole they call the slopes. 
Yeah, 600 plus yards par five, so you really don't want to be flirting with that right Eesh. side. You know, this is not hitting in the right direction. You know, it looks mm. like it's going to be in the rough. Shit. Well, he pays a price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. You need a bit of force to extract one out of there. So missed the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Third shot, looking for a good one. Excellent shot to within 10 feet. These putts keep the round together. Wow, I thought he made that. Oh, wow. Man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Putt for par. Needs one. With authority. Count it as a par and two under. Frank, we're moving inland now. And what are we facing here at this par four seventh hole? Just a dog leg to the right. Uh, ideally, just a little cut off the tee. Attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. Whoa. Cody try up next. Keep it steady here over the putt. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, that one gets him in the top ten. Frank, the par three eighth hole, it is one of the most famous little holes in all of golf. 123 yards postage stamp. Pick the wrong club, though. Maybe a little too much, and it'll be a green that you'll more than airmail. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. 13 feet away. Frank, he took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. So, one round in the books, and a lot to chew on here. There is. This is going to be a tough championship to pull away. The standard of golf, especially that first page of the leaderboard. Excellent golf. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the International Challenge. And this one starting down the right does not look like it's going to draw back towards the flag, but it will catch the green. Frank landed it on the green. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. 
Second shot. Damn, nice pin. shot. He'll be happy with that. Nothing wrong with that part, putt. Now to the 601 yard behemoth par five sixth hole. You can pay the steep price here, Frank, for a mistake. You can. You, you can't reach this green with your tee shot, so there's no reason to even try. A good drive that bounds down the right side and will eventually go left would perhaps give you a chance to reach this par five and two. But this is one tee shot to concentrate on. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole. Second from an excellent lie. Into the tall cabbage, that ball is swallowed up. Shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. Great shot out of the rough. He avoided all the troubles just to get that on the green. That was not an easy shot. He'll settle. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? That's a nice birdie right there. Could not have come at a better time. Third place now. Frank, we're moving inland now to the seventh hole. It's a 405-yard par four. What's ahead? Little dog leg to the right. Uh, a couple of bunkers right on the corner of it. So once again, check the breeze. I mean, he goes after him like he is here. He makes a great pass wow. off ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Look at that fucker fly. Ooh, that is long. That's an absolute beauty. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. In a very aggressive mode with that birdie, now in second place. And this is where Gene Sarazen, the squire at the age of 71, in his farewell appearance at the Open, that was back in 1973, made an ace. How about that? Frank missed the green off the tee. Yeah, but um, this is certainly a tricky little shot coming up here at the par three. That is some good work right there. Birdie and one shot closer to the lead. Oh, that shot. Frank, the ninth hole, 423 yards. Not especially long by today's standards. You're looking to make birdie here, or you're happy to make a par and move on to the back nine? Well, there's certainly mm. a chance for birdie. One of the hardest things about the ninth is the raised green. Um, and it's sort of there's two tiers here just the top level if that pin is on the top t top level Then you would certainly walk away with four very happily looking at 125 yards Not a single weakness today. What a performance Wow, Frank, you did well just to get it on the green from that line. It, I didn't think that was doable. He'll have 17 feet on this putt. Wow. 
That is a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. You know, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. And getting ready for the putt. Come on! Well, you can see the golfer is just boiling right now after that miss and a drop shot here at the ninth. Time to regroup, Frank. Be a little slip. Not to recover. Bogies aren't the worst. There you have it, Frank. The second round is complete. What are your thoughts? Well, I think anybody looking at this leaderboard, anybody in the top ten of that leaderboard uh, is certainly in a good position to win. Uh, quality of the golf there in that first ten is excellent. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the International Challenge. Oh, if this is up, it's good. Frank, that's as good as I have seen all day long. Um, I think we've got to blame that on the weather. That weather, the, the wind had to help that ball, give it another 20, 30 yards. Long putt. Pretty far from the hole, but still on the green, and that's never too bad. Just want to nestle this one down to within a couple of feet. Kit. Whoa. That was not a very good read right there. Talking about that was really good for getting that close. Stupid commentator. Oh, yeah. He's made it for a birdie. Now, the first par three here at Royal Troon, it's the fifth hole. A little bit more than 200 yards. What's the challenge here, Frank? A lot depends on the breeze. Uh, plus, you remember, you've got to allow for the roll and the bounce here. So anything pitching on the front of the green, let that ball release or kick towards the middle and back of the screen. So a chance for birdie after another solid approach shot. So coming off the birdie on the previous hole, a chance now for yet another one. And momentum all in his favor. Not really. Now putt for putt. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Now that's a good par there, Rich. Moving on to hole number six here at Royal Troon. Frank, what are the golfers facing at this long par five? Well, you've got to attack this hole in chunks, Rich. Um, just allow the, the mounding on the right to kick the ball forward, then try and uh, position that second shot. Keep well away from that pot bunker that's a little bit short, about 30 yards right and short of this green. That is the one that causes the problem. A great way to start a hole nicely placed in the fairway. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Oh, no, look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is, this is going, going, gone. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Wow. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. 
playing his third here at the par five. Wow, Frank, I did not expect that. The eagle. Ball's teed up, ready to fly here at the seventh. Yeah, it's a slight elevated tee, so you see all the problems in front of you. A couple of bunkers down the left, two down the right, but it's Lynx golf, so you know where you've got to go. That's in between them. I mean, that is one of the hardest drives I have ever seen. Just let it rip. That club must have melted after that one. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. How about that? Every green regulation. Excellent ball striking today. Trying to make yet another birdie. Really starting to shine. Moves to 10 under for the tournament. Frank, the eighth hole, it is one of the most famous in the world, the little postage stamp, par three. Yeah, the front part, then it starts to narrow up, so you never know. Maybe go on a little lower if you're going to go towards the back of the green. But really, if you're going to air, you want to air on that first third, first half of the screen. Now, you don't want to come in too hot and roll it off the back. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Just an amazing display. The records oh, took first. to fall. Frank, how does the front nine finish up with this par four? Well, the par four ninth is called the Monk. It's not overly long, 423 yards, dog leg to the right. Just one bunker down the left to be avoided. Outstanding tee shot. Yeah, ball sitting up. You don't have to worry about the wind or anything there. You just take a full-blooded cut at the second shot from here. What the hell? Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Wow. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Looks like he just misread that. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. I thought that was in. Yeah, it looked good. I mean, line, pace, it's hard to be critical of that. Has this now for bogey. We're shot into the round. I don't think that bogey's going to make any difference. And that wraps up the third round. Just one more to go before we crown our champion. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm looking at my crystal ball, Rich, but uh, that champion uh, that we see tomorrow might be the one just sitting at the leaderboard uh, on top of it right now. Getting rough, nerve-wracking. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the International Challenge. Located in Troon, Scotland, founded in 1878, Royal Troon Golf Club playing host to the Open Championship eight times and is slated to host its ninth major championship in 2016. I'm Rich Lerner for EA Sports. Alongside me today, my friend and colleague, Frank Nabolo. 
Frank, you've played in the Open Championship on a couple of occasions here at Royal Troon. It's a golf course that features some breathtaking scenery, and it can also serve up some breathtaking golf. True Lynx golf course, uh, Rich. Relatively soft start can uh, certainly lull you into that false sense of security. And then the golf course really starts to open up. That homeward nine, often coming back in the prevailing breeze, is very much a stern test. Wow, Frank, look at that one run out. Just blistered that tee shot. Well, that has to be 325 if it's an inch. Eeks. Oh, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. And he's made it onto the green now. Workman like hole, he walks away with a par. The back nine here at Royal Troon has only one par five, and here it is, Frank. At 542 yards, you'd think it's reachable, but that burn cuts in at 280 yards, so it means you have to lay back. But I remember back in 1997, playing alongside Tiger Woods, and he still managed to get it onto the green from behind the burn. That was some shot. You knew at that point he was something special. He certainly was. He then knocked it in from 40 feet for an Eagle three. So toweled off, dried off, and ready to go. Yeah, let's hope uh, this swing he's, hasn't still got the floaties on. Third shot now after the last one found the deep blue. Yeah, you can still minimize the damage here. It's only one bad shot that you got punished for. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Bad brown. Speed wasn't bad on that long putt, but. The read wasn't very good. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. No problems there. And it keeps the round going, keeps the momentum on his side. Frank, now to the hole they call Rabbit, 222 yard par three. I don't know why it's called rabbit, because this is certainly some tough par three. Green sits up a little bit. There's a big roll off on the left side, well bunkered. This takes a brilliant long iron shot just to keep it on the green. Well, it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Second shot. Good look at the green. on the green has about 10 feet left there to save par. These putts keep the round together. That was a good looking putt, just not falling right now. Well, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Just a couple of feet. Bad news is, that's a bogey. The good news, still tied for the lead. He's the only one disappointed. The rest of the field aren't. Made it a real cat fight. Frank, you've played in and contended at so many major championships. It's not a major if the finishing hole doesn't present a real challenge. What do you think of Royal Troon's finishing hole? Well, it's not just the 18th hole, Rich, too. It's 16, 17, and 18, because the prevailing breeze, especially at the open championship time of the year, which is the second week in July, is normally back into it. So you look at that 464 yards, that's well bunkered off the tee, three on the left, one on the right into a puff of breeze, and you got yourself a great finishing hole.
So missed the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And um, and you think, you just ride a par down at the end of the end of the hole, don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard. Well, birdies are hard to come by in this situation. So Give me tight. some. Keeps him right in the thick of it. And that wraps up the final round. Just a great performance by our champion today. Couldn't agree more, Rich. Uh, I think this one will have to go down in the books as an absolute classic. Fantastic play, not only in the course today, but all week long.
EA Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present opening round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Back down now to hole number six. Early in the round, still holding steady, even par on the day. Yeah, it's got that feel it could go either way here. Next few holes will probably tell us which way. Well, this one has a chance to be really good. And now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Well, that is a ball striking clinic right there. Another dazzling approach shot. Pretty close. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Wow, I thought he made that. Ooh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Even par, currently. What? That's costly right there. It's a dead-end shot. Just a little tap in here. So that's a bogey, and now to one over par for the tournament. Frank, a very short par four here at the seventh, but not one you're going to try to hit off the tee? No, if you, unless you can fly the ball sort of 300 yards on the nose and stop it within sort of five or six yards, it's really too risky. This green is not very deep, just sort of 10 or 15 yards in depth. Uh, it's just a lab hole, but a lab hole, just, uh, it simply doesn't mean grab a club and hit it down the fairway. The best way to play it is to try and hit the ball right on the number. And what I mean by number, I mean the full shot yardage for your second shot, even if that only is a sand iron. Second shot coming out of the rough here. How good was that, Frank, from the rough? Oh, that's amazing. That's a master class in short game. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Frank, how much does that birdie help the cause? Well, it doesn't look like much right now, Rich. Just sneaking inside the top 20. But at the end of the day, that might be the one that turned the tide. Par 3 8, 248 yards down to the green. What a hole. Yeah, maybe you put your two hands together, make a little prayer. You might make two. But uh, make three here and run to the next tee. This is uh, it's just a gorgeous par 3. Uh, but it is, it is tough. Um, every bit as uh, tough as it, what it is pretty, as a matter of fact. Surely not. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Pretty long putt right here. You'd be happy to get it to within two, three feet. Pretty good stroke right there. Just hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Still even par for the day. Finishing up this front side here at the par 4 ninth, 390 yards, and what are we looking at, Frank? Well, it looks relatively straightforward, uh, but it's anything other than that. Decision time again, do you lay it up into that wide area of the fairway? If you're a longer hitter and you are out here to have a little bit of fun, then maybe you want to take the head cover off because you get a little bit of an advantage if you can drive it over that last bunker on that right side or at least take that out of play. Because you're only going to have a short pitch in here. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Yeah. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Locked in on the read and the speed.
Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Start of the back nine here at Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada. Rich Lerner for EA Sports with my partner, Frank Nabilo. Frank, tell us about the 10th. It looks intimidating off the back of this tee, Rich, and that's because the desert ridge on that right side, it sort of blocks your view, and you don't see the right side of this fairway. Once you realize there's a lot more room to the right, then that tee shot becomes a little bit easier. Now, also, the angle of this green, you're going to see it sort of turn to the right there, so you've really got to be careful on where the flag is positioned on this green. If they put the flag back right, then obviously that's the hardest this hole's going to play. Flag sort of left of center, then this still could very much be a birdie hole. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. And I want to have this for birdie. It's no snack, though. <laughs> Just didn't read that one quite right. And the computer dials this one up at 26 feet. Come on! Close. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Tough start this hole. The backside, Frank. What a ridiculous freaking hole. It doesn't hole. bode well, too. You start losing confidence with the putter early on. And he's putting for double bogey now. So, two over par for the round. Bad hole. On to the 11th hole, we're looking downhill, 215 yards to the green. And this is one of the holes that uh, you realize you're at Wolf Creek. You would never see this hole anywhere else in the world. It, it's amazing when you stand on this tee. You see all of the canyons around, but there is a little green area down there uh, with, surrounded by a couple of bunkers. Um, it, it's, a, it's a great looking par for a very playable. And you never know, today might be the day where you make good. Settles in over the putt. Well, there's an opportunity <laughs> wasted. Shut up, Just knocking for a par and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect. But it's going to hurt the course. Frank, that's a par. And onward we go. Well, that about wraps things up for us here today. I'd like to thank my partner, Frank Nabilo. Enjoyed it, Frank. Certainly did, Rich. Once again, the golf course provided more than a stern test. And for the entire team, I'm Rich Lerner. Until next time. EA Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present second round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Has it? Maybe wet. 
And he went for the brief swim there, Frank. He's trying to stay dry now. He is. Uh, just trying to avoid water on the brain as well. <laughs> this will take a good swing. Third shot now after the last one found the deep blue. Yeah, you can still minimize the damage here. It's only one bad shot that you got punished for. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. And from the rough, he manages to not only make the green, but get within easy striking distance of the hole. Little redemption chance here had bogey yesterday. Well, Frank, he'll drop at least one shot here. That was uh, not his best effort. No, uh, poor is the easiest way to put that. He knows it. Frank, it has been that kind of a tournament. Another Just a bad boat. day. Bad news today. Bad day to play the game. Well, everybody loves the short par four. And here we have one, Frank, just 302 yards, the seventh hole. And this hole is anything other than straightforward, Rich. Uh, huge drop off at the front of the screen that is surrounded by water. So it's going to be a layup off the tee, really, to try and get the right yardage. This green is very, very, uh, it's not very deep, but it's extremely wide. The hardest thing is to try and get a flat lie with uh, whatever club you decide what to hit the tee and get the right yardage. Otherwise, that green actually might be a little elusive, even though this is a very short hole. Now playing the second here at the par four. Trying to generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. This, this is a hard course. Now this for birdie. Came away with a bogey on the previous round. Didn't catch the break. Come on. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle down there. Make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. That's a nice confidence builder right there. You make those for par, and you keep things steady. Frank, the par 3 8 really is Wolf Creek in a nutshell. It's hard, and it's really pretty. It is, and it's really long, too. Uh, just under 250 yards off that back tee. Slight bit of elevation, but uh, you can see from the tee, obviously, where you don't want to go and where you do go. Um, if you're a little, uh, well, tender of heart, then aim for the right side and avoid all that water down the left. Slow down, my God! That ball is wet. So this will be the third shot after taking the drop with the ball going in the water. Frank, this is one you don't practice, but sometimes you have to do it. Time for the drop. Yeah, it should be the easiest shot in golf. You've just paid for it. Strong wind here early in the round. And he's made it onto the green now. Ooh. This is an awkward length. Well, you're not going to make that putt all the time, but you'd like to at least get it to the hole. If he keeps putting like that, he's going to be an announcer in no time. Frank, how do you explain what we saw here? Uh, it, it, it's a mess. It's probably the easiest way to put it. In this case of anything that could go wrong, um, not just probably, it did.
This could be really good, Frank. Oh, it's straight at it. Frank, they say you have to ride the wind. Boy, he got all of that one. Got every ounce out of the conditions. That will be a great look at birdie. Birdie putt coming up. The par on this hole yesterday. Just slides by. Yeah, can't afford to miss too many of those out here today. So just a formality here. Did the job right there. Beginning the back nine here at Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada. Rich Lerner for EA Sports with my partner Frank Nabolo. Frank, tell us about the 10th hole. Got to be careful here, Rich. That desert ridge on that right side, it sort of makes that fairway look smaller than exactly what it is. This fairway is about the same width as all the others, so just convince yourself that. Good drive down here is going to give you a second shot, a little bit uphill, into a green that sort of slopes away on a, about a 45 degree angle. Those are good numbers right there. 320. 320 yards. Just crushed it in the fairway. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, looks like. Early part of this second nine, a good approach shot. And now, pretty good chance for birdie. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Break to the right, right to left, and it's not going to give me a putt read. Give it a second, see if it decides again. Thank God for small mercies. We're here at the downhill par 3, 11th hole. Frank, it's 215 yards from the back tee. This hole uh, certainly is not for the faint of heart. When you look at that tee shot, you think, oh, my God, what do I do from here? But remind yourself, it's 215 yards and really only about 160, 170 yards to green grass again. But it's 215 yards. That should be the club that you're trying to pick. Green's big enough, just persuade yourself that. Try not to look at the canyon and the desert. There is a green down there. The hole is playable. I'm reminded of what an old caddy used to say about the great Lanny Watkins when he was on fire. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. How is that a freaking break to the left? Man. I just and it breaks it. that far. Right now at two over par for the round. And he makes it for par.
Missed cut. What happened, Frank? Uh, just not good enough. That's the easy way. Way too many shots out there, especially for that caliber of play. So put it in the memory banks. Move forward. Um, better days ahead. EA Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present third round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Today we're here at Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada. Rich Loader alongside Frank Navalo set to bring you all of the action for the EA Sports Spring Invitational. And Frank, what can the players expect from Wolf Creek? Just a mesmerizing layout, Rich. You can see that from above. Straight driving is imperative out there today. You actually don't have to hit the ball a long way. The elevation on those tees is gonna give you that extra distance on almost every shot. You can even take driver out of play on some of the holes. But really, it's about being in the right position first on those tee shots that you're gonna hit today. Here at the sixth, 447 yard par four. Pretty good hole, Frank. Yeah, probably a layup hole, too, for the longer hitters. Um, something out there around two, the 280, 290 yard mark to make sure you don't go it in the stream. Obviously, it's a dog leg right, as you can see. The canyon on both sides is sort of uh, well defined, so you know where not to go. Second shot plays a little bit back up the hill to a, uh, a green, once again, that's anything other than flat. Uh, it's fun. You've got to make sure you get that ball on the right tier if you want to have a birdie putt here. Shit. This is a 99 yard shot. Frank, at a 72 hole stroke play event, do you like birdie fests where, say, 28, 30 under par might win it, or do you like a, a good old fashioned grind them out where you might be able to win the championship at, say, 7, 8 under par? Yeah, I, I like the latter, really, um, because I think it, it tests the mental fortitude. Normally, if, if people are you know, in the mid-20s under, the golf course is a little easier, it's, it's a little more forgiving, greens are flatter and all that, and, and therefore, I'm not saying it's one-dimensional, but it's closer to that. Uh, when you have a good old barn brawn out there with the rough thick and bunkers are, are difficult and greens are fast and undulating, it, every part of your game is stressed to the limit. And, you know, sort of 10 under, I always think, is, is like a really good litmus test for, uh, for a great tournament. Well, you couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Didn't fare too well on this hole yesterday. Made a bogey. Good work right there. They settle for par. Frank, a very short par four here at the seventh, but not one you're going to try to hit off the tee? No, if you, unless you can fly the ball sort of 300 yards on the nose and stop it within sort of five or six yards, it's really too risky. This green is not very deep, just sort of 10 or 15 yards in depth. Uh, it's just a layup hole, but uh, layup hole, just, uh, it simply doesn't mean grab a club and hit it down the fairway. The best way to play it is to try and hit the ball right on the number. And what I mean by number, I mean the full shot yardage for your second shot, even if that only is a sand line. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Stop, ball, stop. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. 
safely on the dance floor. Even par, currently. Been a little too much of that, Frank. Just sort of ho-hum pars. Frank, this is the kind of hole that you like to drop a bag of balls and, and just have fun. Hit it all day long as if you were at the range. Unfortunately, you only get one crack, and you better be good. This is a tough hole. Well, if you uh, find the water, actually, you might get another one up there. It certainly is a tough hole, though, Rich. The stream going all the way down the left-hand side, or, and it wraps right around the left and behind the screen, makes that tee shot... Uh, well, it certainly makes you think about that tee shot while you're on the tee. Um, prudent play, aim for the right edge of the green. Uh, nothing wrong if you just miss the green on the right, but uh, miss the green by a yard on the left, you pay a very steep price. Pretty good stroke right there, just to hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Oh, I thought he had that. Just hammered that par putt, Frank. Well, I don't know what he was thinking or what was going through his mind right there, but uh, you better wake up in a hurry, because if this one doesn't go in, the score's going to rack up. Frank, nothing really went the player's way this week. Yeah, if this was motor racing, you'd say it's a case of having four flat tires. Stepping up to the shot here at the ninth, it's a par four, 390 yards. It is anything other than straight off the tee because of all these sort of undulations and curvature on the fairway. Uh, you'd think well bunkered, but the last bunker on the right side there, longer hitters, they can nearly fly that, just over 300 yards. Either that shorter hitter just played that fat area of the green. That'll be sort of some, uh, you know, 270 yards. That will take all the water out of play into a green that slopes back at you. So very good chance, even with a wedge in hand, to get the ball close. A good way to finish the front nine. Good swing, good shot yet again. Oh, too much. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Let's get rolled back down. Come on. A little bit more hope than determination in that putt. Putt for par. He needs one. That was a good run at it, Rich. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Four and a quarter inches. Could have done with one lot slightly bigger. And this will be a five foot putt here. Well, I can make that one, but I can't make the fucking other. You one. know full well this can be a humbling game. Jeez. Uh, and an embarrassing game. <coughs> now, the start of the back nine here at Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada, or as I like to call it, Mind Blower Golf Club. Frank, everywhere you look, it's just a mind blower. I mean, this one is hard to believe. This one's also a hard hole. 472 yards off the back tee. Uh, 
That fairway is a little wider than what it looks off the tee because you know, that sort of desert ridge on the right side there, that blocks part of the fairway. So if you can imagine that fairway opens up a bit, then you'll be fine. A good tee shot down here, uh, especially with that um, elevation there. That's sort of shorten the hole up a little bit. 270 yards gets you past all those bunkers on the left side. They'll take those out of play. And once again, a little bit uphill, and you see the green shapes a little bit to the right. So make sure you're aware of where that flag is. That's it. That's birdie. Day three, and what a tournament this is shaping up to be, Frank. Quite simply, great weather, great golf, great fans, which is the perfect mix for a, um, a golfer trying to win a tournament. Uh, the final round, uh, if this is anything to go by, uh, has to uh, just be sensational. Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present final round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Always some extra excitement when you get to the first major championship of the year, and here we are. Rich Loader alongside Frank Nabila. We're at Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada for the EA Sports Spring Invitation. Partner, this is a big one. It certainly is, Rich, and being the first major of the year, you know the players are going to be a little bit more nervous anticipations of a great year are going to start right here this week at Wolf Creek and you're going to have to make all those adjustments out there. Uh, is your game ready? Can you adjust for the changes of elevation? And do you have the confidence to go all the way and pick up the first major championship of the year? Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. Do you need to even break? Wow. Really? This is that awkward length. Locked in on the read and the speed. Come the fuck on! Fuck this game! So, they'll tap in. Simple, solid, and he'll take it. But one that you need to make. Frank, another really rugged hole. This is the par 311th here at Wolf Creek. Rich, remember that book, uh, Dead Solid Perfect? This is what this hole's all about, because you must hit that tee shot solid. You've got to carry all the trouble in front of you. And remind yourself, too, there's enough green grass down there. Not necessarily green, but green grass around there. A good shot safely on the putting surface here. And this green's not too severe. But uh, this is a fun par three just to look at, or even at least experience. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect. But that is going to hurt the course. Wow, that's a disappointing chance to get too deep on one hole and you leave it short. Well, the good thing is he didn't miss it. All right, he didn't go past the miss. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll never know. Okay. Still has a chance for birdie too. Right. Okay. I like that. It's a positive attitude. From a par three to a par five here at the 12th, it measures 560 yards, a sweeping dogleg left, and there is some trouble down that left side. 
This is a scary tee shot. There's no two ways about it, Rich. Um, you've got to get the ball in play because you, you can really rack up a good score here. That water very much in play. Doesn't matter what club you decide to hit off the tee. 560 yards actually is reachable, believe it or not. But uh, you know, you've got to get it on the fairway. You don't really have to be too brave and try and take too much over there. The other thing, too, to consider about is, is this green is nearly half the length of an NFL football field. It's 55 yards from the front of this green to the back of the green. So from the rough back to the fairway, that's the right way to go. Yeah, didn't take the bait, and at least now he's only going to play the price of a poor tee shot. Still got a good chance, though, getting away with par. Finally, something happens that's good. That's a nice shot right there. 13th hole here at Wolf Creek, and Frank, anyone can say, oh, I'm going to take this one over the trees. But very few can stand up and say, I'm flying this baby clear over the mountains. Yeah, if you take the direct route, um, obviously it's going to be much shorter than the 350 yards that it's measured as a dogleg right. So the direct line, well, I don't want to tell you the exact yardage because it might give you too much of a clue, but it might be worth taking. It's going to be a blind tee shot, though, and you're not quite sure on the outcome. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Getting set now over the putt. Count it for an eagle. Hey, how's it going, guys? If you're watching right now, just hit a comment in the box. And what you a in to hole. get a chance to win a $50 it's a gift view. card. You see everything from the top of that tee there. It's a hole that keeps bending to the left. There's enough bunkers down the left there to actually take your eye. That's why you've got to fixate on, a, on, a, on something in the, dif in the distance that's a much better line than worrying about that wall of sand down the left side. This one's sweet, Frank. Super. Nice drive right in the fairway and a good swing on that one. A little uphill to this green, Frank. Way through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Now just when you thought they might pick up one, now settle for a par. So a tester from four feet. Good putt. Here at the 15th hole here at Wolf Creek, bit of a breather here. Nice, short par three. You don't want to miss this green. No, that's, that's the temptation there. If you try and bite off a little too much because it looks a little too easy, then a bogey here and you're in a bad mood all of a sudden at Wolf Creek. Well played, places it about 10 feet out for birdie. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Stop, stop, stop. Those are painful from God that distance. Knows. Yeah, just another one added to the card. Big mistake. And he's putting for par now. 
Come on! You got robbed, Frank. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. So not his best work. He'll walk away with a boat. Short par four, 16th hole measures only 393 yards. But Frank, as is the case with pretty much every hole, despite the yard, there's plenty of trouble. It does. It plays tricks on the mind's eye here. It looks like it's a dog leg going one way, then back the other way. But really, it's built as a straight hole just across the canyon. And, and that's the way you've got to play it. Um, bye I don't bye. think you can drive the green. Even the longest hit is at 393 yards. But uh, just a nice drive down there. Take the bunkers on, get it past there. And the, before you know it, you've got a little wedge in here. And it should sit up nicely for a birdie. Well, that's how you play the game right there. And knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. And getting ready for the putt. I'll take the par. Good try. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for pop. Frank, that's a par. And onward we go. Now to the 17th, par five here at Wolf Creek Golf Club. Yeah, dog leg left, tee shot obviously has to be uh, played short of that, that creek down there. It's still gonna be a reachable hole, even though this hole's sort of around the 550, 560 mark. But because you've got to play short of that, that uh, stream, it's gonna leave a lengthy second shot and you've got to get the distance right on the button. That's in the fairway. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Looked like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way too much. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? This one measures out to 15 feet. Closing hold here at Wolf Creek. Frank, what's ahead of us? You could try and drive at this green, but there's too much trouble, really, Rich. Even though this hole's just over 300 yards, um, it's very ambitious to try and drive it across that water. Some might try. Most people try and hit a tee shot, 240, 250-yard mark, and, of course, you do the maths. You're only going to have 60 or 70 yards in, and, uh, well, they want you to finish on a good note. So good drive in the fairway here, or three wood. Pitch it on the green, make a three, and buy your friends a drink in the clubhouse. Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot. Goodbye. Into the tall cabbage. That ball is swallowed up. Ball sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. Hut for par. Needs one. keep the round going those par putts so another <laughs> tournament in the books frank and what'd you make of this one 
quality venue once again, uh, Rich. The standards of the standard of courses we're seeing is, is excellent, and, and consequently, it's enabling the players to really play some great golf. So, I, I think uh, golf's the winner today. Still at top of the leaderboard. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Boston Championship. Got the branch. Out, certainly over 300 yards, Frank. Call it about 310. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. And you can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable. That that never deviated offline. Let's get a better round this time. Frank, how much does that birdie help the cause? Well, it doesn't look like much right now, Rich. Just sneaking inside the top 20. But at the end of the day, that might be the one that turned the tide. Plenty going on here today. Let's see what's happening at the 14th. Just a mediocre first round up to this point from our featured golfer. Frank, what are some keys to making something happen down the stretch? Well, if this is the worst score that they shoot all week, I think that's one of the keys because this is a position to vault forward from. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Frank, this is just a pleasure to watch. A player hitting on all cylinders at the top of his game. Notice it's just flowing, too. There's not a lot of deep analysis going through his mind. Just one step in front of the other. If your swing's there, you don't have to find it. If your putting stroke's there, you don't have to find it. Just let it happen. That was just a gutsy shot right there, and a good look at Eagle coming up. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Gets up from the middle of the pack toward the front hand. Playing well ahead of the leaders. Still, that move up there, at the end of the day, very important. 
All right, Frank, we're teed up at the 15th, and a lot to talk about with your caddy on this tee shot. Yeah, which club, which line, series of bunkers down the left, that one short right doesn't really come into play. Another one, really, fairway first. Oh, here's one. Big hit. Up. Does he have the power, though? He makes a great yeah, pass the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Huge with a capital H. Moved it a long ways. And now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Slow down, baby. Superb shot once again, and only about 15 feet away for a birdie. It's no snack, though. Well, very impressive and on the move right now. Frank, here at the 16th, you really see this sort of New England character, don't you? Yeah, that stone wall now protects that sort of two-tiered green. And uh, it, it, it sort of showcases the golf course. It, it just fits in beautifully with what Hans and Faxon have done to the golf course. Hazard. Maybe wet. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Wow. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. One more birdie, and now tied for the lead. Frank almost at the house, but still some work to do. 412 yard, par 417. Yeah, just poke something down that right side. Uh, really, it's the second shot. You've got to, you've got to worry about that big mound Yikes. in the middle of the green. you got to worry about Look, that bunker. It's taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Not the best shot, this one in the rough, but still will have a play from there. Frank, anything you do differently from the rough in terms of your swing, do you hinge the club a little bit more quickly? No, normally put the ball just a little bit further back in your stance because you want the club to be going down down it's got to go down through the grass through the ball uh, this looks like it's going to find the target coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole really not much to this the only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus lack of concentration don't do that. Cruel lip out. So they'll tap in. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, the 18th year at TPC Boston, for whatever reason, generates quite a bit of buzz, doesn't it? It, it does. The longer hitters, obviously, they lick their chops. They're having a chance to, uh, to make this green in two. But if you find one of the fairway bunkers, the addition of that pot bunker um, for the layup, that just makes that decision that much more difficult. That's beyond long. That is a sensational play right there, and you have to think that the, the little helping breeze gave that a nice boost. It can't be that good. Big swing right there, a great result, and now a chance for a big swing in momentum with an even coming up. Huge chance to climb the leaderboard. A cut for Eagle. Now to seven under par.
Rich, in that great opportunity, name on top of the leaderboard. It is only round one. Good place to be. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the Boston Championship. Good strike, good lie. Good chance to attack the pin. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Sensational shot right there, Frank. Oh, you start beating your chest after a shot like that. That's the best we've seen into this hole to date. The birdies are hard to come by in this situation. So tight. Keeps him right in the thick of it. Frankie just loved the variety of holes here at TPC Boston. Now we get to the seventh. It's a 600-yard par five. It looks straight away, but the problem is if you don't hit a good tee shot, then you really have to be aware of that cross bunker. That is one place you don't want to go with your second shot. Grab the fire extinguisher. Put out the... That ball is on fire. It's melting going through the air. Just blasted that tee ball, Frank. Second shot. And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Oh boy, we have a ball game right now, don't we, partner? Starting to get sweaty palms. Hole number eight now, 213 yards in length, a par three. And Frank, what can we expect? Really narrow at the front of the screen. A lot of mounding. Ball normally kicks towards the left. One place you don't want to go, though, is that left bunker. The bunker shot's all downhill from there. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Pretty much doing everything right this week. 11 under for the tournament. Real golfers, by the way, do not eat tuna sandwiches at the turn. Eat a hot dog, right? Well, yeah, but if you uh, make a mess of nine, then you're making hamburgers. Pulverize that golf ball. Frank, right where you want to be. Oh, wouldn't be better if it was on a tee. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag.
Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. So a tester from four feet. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Well, Rich, two rounds in the books, and it's easy to see why the leaders are on top of that leaderboard. Excellent performance, but still a long ways to go in this tournament. Hang on, doing really good this round. And my mic meeting, I was talking. Look down, I forgot to push that button. EA Sports and proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Boston Championship. I mean, that is one of the hardest drives I've ever seen. Just let it rip. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Racking them and stacking them. That's 12 under par now for the tournament. Frank the 14th, this is a dogleg left, 495 yards, another case where the driver will set everything up. But you have to avoid those mounds on the left. They'll just snag your ball. Yeah, just what I fucking that thought. That one ends up in the rough. That went sideways. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Right out of the center of the bat. Did you hear that? So from the rough back to the fairway, that's the right way to go. Yeah, didn't take the bait, and at least now he's only going to play the price of a poor tee shot. Still got a good chance, though, getting away with par. Should be safely on deck. Too far. Midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. So coming off the birdie on the previous hole, a chance now for yet another one. And momentum all in his favor. What a recover. And rolls it in. Nice putt. Now at the par 4 15th, what do you think of this hole, Frank? Oh, I love the strategy involved here. It's not just necessarily a driver off the tee. Smart play often comes on top here because it's a second shot hole.
In the bunker. Oh, not the bunker. Good contact, good result. Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. VJ Singh, Charlie Hoffman, and Big Henrik Stenson, they all have one thing in common. They all tied for the low tournament score at TPC Boston, 22 under. And they're all good. Yeah, this is a golf course that uh, obviously gives in to the longer hitters. And if there's just a little bit of sting taken out of the greens, then these long hitters have a huge advantage. Par yesterday, now for birdie. I'll take a par. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knock it in for a par and let's forget about this one. And golf is not about perfect, but it's going to hurt the course. Good work right there. He'll settle for par. Frank, I don't think they've come up yet with an EA Sports bass fishing challenge, and this wouldn't be the time to do it, would it? 16th hole. Uh, we might see a few people fishing for their golf ball, though. Uh, big mound in the middle of this green. You don't have to go directly at the flag when it's on the left. You can use that mound to kick the ball around. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. And getting ready for the putt. Fourteen under. Really solid strike. Frank, the 17th here at TPC Boston underwent quite a radical change. Yeah, that renovation um, and that redesign that they did, um, it, it, it changed the character of the hole, but they still kept that big mound in the middle of the green. So that second shot is still punishing if you misjudge it. And players nursing the lead, they might want to think about playing it safe down the right side, but if you're trying to make up some ground, you could uh, try to fly the church pews that divide the fairway into two sections, and that would give you a nice short wedge in. Yeah, give you a short wedge in, but really the risk, is it worth it? This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I think so. Now that's how you play the game, right there. So the dominant performance continues. Yeah, we're watching two tournaments right now, the one at the top and the rest. Frank, the 18th here at TPC Boston has generated a lot of buzz through the years, hasn't it? It has, and those changes have just made this finishing hole so much better. The fact that they've narrowed up the front of the green, they've made that left side more severe. Now you can't bail out on the left. If you do, it's a, oh, an awful little pitch or even a putt up the hill. The addition of that putt bunker, Frank, how has that changed the hole? Well, if you stray off the tee or find one of those bunkers with your tee shot, you really have to be aware of exactly the distance that little pot bunker is away. Because if you just sort of whack it out of the bunker and lay it up there, you find the next bunker, then you're in trouble. This one's looking good. That was a solid strike and a good result. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Onto the 18th and a big par five to finish out the round. Yeah, fun way. 
Let's see. Course record 61. What can you do here? Going to record break this game. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Boston Championship. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. We're at the TPC Boston in Massachusetts. Frank, this is a really good-looking golf course. Fun golf course, too, Rich. Starts off with a relatively soft par four, not very long, and then, of course, the fourth hole. If you remember that on TV, it's a drivable par four. Five, really. This beautiful dog leg left par four. I think it's one of the prettiest holes on the golf course. Reminds me of Sunningdale in England. Seven's a par five. Two good hits. You might better get home. Uh, don't don't talk about the ninth to Phil Mickelson. Never really likes that hole at all. So made a mess of it over the years. A uh, good finish there at 18. But really, if you want to look at maybe a tough stretch in the back nine, 13, 14. If you make a couple of pars through there, then you've done well. And now he goes seven under. House, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. This is a good-looking shot. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. Getting set now over the putt. Yeah, he's made it for a birdie. Frank at the 14th down. Anytime you get a par four that is almost 500 yards, it gets your attention. It does play downhill, though, so you don't have to smash away here. It's better if you can get something moving a little right to left. Then it will take the natural slope. You get a little more yardage out of it that way. Frank, did you hear the sound of that coming off the club face? It was like a cannon. Nothing to argue about there, right in the fairway. Second shot. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Touch the eagle coming Oof. up. It's going to be rough. Wow, big break. I'll take that, though. That was not a very Birdie. good read right there. It's worth it. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday. Trying for another one today. You love to watch him disappear, don't you? Settled over the ball here at the 15th, 421 yards on this par four. Uphill, you can see everything that you have to avoid. Find the green grass in between. Loading up on it. Look at the coil there. That ball just took off the face. Not quite what he was hoping for. The tee shot in the bunker. Mm. Frank, just a slight miss off the tee. He's in the fairway bunker. Yeah, I just really got to pick the right club once again. Sometimes you take a little bit more club out of the fairway bunker, choke down. The second shot. 
Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. So a tester from four feet. Moving on to 16 now. This is one where you sort of lick your chops, Frank, because it's it's pretty short, 161 yards. Where's the challenge here? <laughs> where the fish go. That big lake on the left, that's the challenge. Appears to be tracking well. I mean, that's how oh. he's, making it. Oh, he's just making it look so easy. That birdie coming up, formality. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. It's putt for birdie. That's two, that, two close all at once. All right, you want to bring it home in style. You want to finish with a flourish. 412 yard par 4, 17th. What's the way to play it? Just hit it down the right side. You don't really want to mess with that sort of rock crop bunkers down the left side. All sorts of bad things happen if you finish there. Get up over them! Come on, roll, baby, roll, roll, baby, roll. What I'm attention talking about like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up, sitting up. It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Steady all day long. That one about 20 feet away. He'll settle. Birdie here yesterday, trying to do it again today. You made a good cut. Good cut. I'll take par. Well, you couldn't Damn. have so much more than that, except to make it. Rich, right now it's just a case of running out of holes. Pars are fine. Well, Frank, this is really one of the most exciting finishing holes on tour. The 18th here at TPC Boston, par five, risk reward, chance to really make something happen right at the end. Let's see this baby fly. Get the hell out of town. Come on, get in that narrow. Yeah. He has just hammered this drive here at the 18th, and now he is in a really good position to make a birdie here in the final hole. This is looking really good. Beautiful shot. That Here comes the eagle. Get the that eagle. Go get us. The Boston Championship. Give me. Very well. Give me. What a great tournament finish. This one is in the books. And look, we finished. Top of the leaderboard. Holy Rich, crap. this has to go down as a classic. Our champion was simply on fire. And I'm looking forward now to see how next week pans out. record.
That is a freaking world record. Give it to me. Damn cat. Hey, pretty girl. Oh, you want to cuddle? This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Got some big balls. Shepard is big tinch. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo set to call all the action here. Got the, the gamer kitty with me. Championship. We are at Quail Sitting Hall in my lap eating chips Frankie playing games. One of the best courses on tour. It is a uh, great state of North Carolina where Donna Ross um, <laughs> developed so many great courses. They're the sort of courses that we used to sing. But this is a relatively new golf course. First opened up in 1961, but it certainly fits in with the North Carolina uh, landscape. Um, mature trees, holes well cut out. Beautiful greens and uh, interesting finish. How do you like that finishing stretch? They call it the Green Mile. Uh, some might think it's purgatory, but uh, I think it's the perfect touch to a great golf course. Well, when he goes after it like he is here. Gave that a full treatment. Get up. Oh, that's right. Get up. Get out of here! It's oh, gone! Oh. Frank, they say you have to ride the wind. Boy, he got all of that one. Got every ounce out of the conditions. This one looks right on point. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Focus, get in the hole for a freaking hill, baby! Out of the short par 4-8 here at Quail Hollow, just 350 yards. Frank, players can lay it up and just hit a little baby wedge into the green, but why not go for it in one, try to make something happen? I think both uh, plans work well rich um this is one of those holes the more you think about it the more complicated it gets you're gonna lay it up lay it up if you're gonna go for it just aim at that tree and hit it down there just take your medicine i mean that is one of the hardest drives you've ever seen just let it rip Frank, he is one of the longest hitters in the game, but at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. On the green, and the chance for birdie. Ah! That one again. He'd settle for par here. Just five feet left. Come the on! The coolest thing about this game, Rich. I mean, it's just now it's another shot. Trying to limit the damage here. This cut is for bogey. Frank, they didn't have any openings at the EA Sports basketball because, I mean, this is just brutal to watch. Well, Frank, what do you think of the ninth hole here at Quail Hollow? Oh, I think it's a beauty, Rich. Um, one of those long... Nice drawing tee shots, uh, you know, 500 yards is a par four. You have to hit a good drive. The fairway doesn't camber that much. The hole does dog leg to the left. Big advantage for a big tee shot here. What the hell? Pressures. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. From the rough back to the fairway, that's the right way to go. Yeah, didn't take the bait. At least now, 
He's only going to play the price of a poor tee shot. Still got a good chance, though, getting away with par. Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Not quite where he was aiming, but still enough room to get it up and down. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. I'll take the ball. So go back to you. Makeable putt, but everything had to be right. The speed and the read didn't quite have it dialed in online. There. So what happens when you freaking whoop ass the first one, then so it's like that, the game is like, oh no, nope, not gonna happen again. Far. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo for EA Sports. We are set at Quail Hollow Baby Storm. for the backside, the 10th hole, Frank, 469 yards. And hey, kitty, a nice kitty. par five where a good drive means that Hi. you can reach this par five and two. Uh, just try and avoid that bunker down the left. Um, second shot's going to play a little downhill. Send this baby gone. Oh, that's an ugly shot. That is an ugly shot. That is an ugly shot. On the tee, and that one that is, is an ugly shot. <laughs> we moved that one out there, but he is not going to like the lie. Uh, that moved down in the rough. Ball sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. This one is definitely heading left. Looks like it is going to end up in the rough. Well, that ball nestled down just a bit in that heavy rough. Frank, this is where the mental game really comes into play. You've hit a second consecutive shot into the rough. Yeah, this could compound very, very quickly. So now's the chance to just take a little breath, take a breather, and try to make sure this shot certainly gets out. That is classy. What a chance of going in. So a tester from four feet. Good birdie, now at one under for the tournament. Back here at the par four 11th at Quail Hollow, set to tee off. What's the right game plan here, Frank? Oh, there's two really, that left bunker off the tee. It's about 265 yards to get it on the fairway, um, or 308 yards, 310 yards run out there. I've seen players just try and carry the bunker, sort of set up a short arm. And I've seen players like Rory McIlroy just try and blast a driver with a hook on it. Um, both strategies have worked. Nice long tee shot there and a good lie, Frank. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. Wow, really too much backspin right game. Just the flag. Early Can't have that much on there. Nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. Frank, he took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from <sighs> three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. After this one, oh, I'm nice. gonna could, go live on. Been a little too much of that, Frank. Just like a ho hum pars. Don't forget, second round coverage coming your way tomorrow here on EA Sports for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now. And I'm saying. So long for now. Over. Guess it's not. I want to quit. Or we're going to go live on Black Ops. Go do some multiplayer. Oh, yeah. I can back out. I'll be on in about 10 15 minutes. Oh. I got for dailies today. You at minus 20 die tiebreakers one two three three let's do this
Hi, Zachary. Hey, you just missed it. I got the world record on the last course. And I'll be down there tomorrow. I'm heading out of here at noon. This is EA Sports PGA Tour coverage coming up next. Hello again and welcome Rich Lerner alongside my friend Frank Nabilo. We're here in Orlando, Florida at the house that Arnold built, the Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Frank, what are some of the toughest shots? I got to have surgery again course? next Thursday. Second shot into eight comes to mind uh, when you've got that sort of long water carry to a very thin green. Um, probably only a club or so deep there, so it's very hard to get that to land soft. 17 and 18 are always difficult for any level of play. 17, the green is angled slightly to the right. Even though you're, you're coming from an elevated tee, it's tough to judge the right club and get the ball to land softly. And of course, there's always the finishing hole that has to be navigated. And he pays a price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. You're gonna need a bit of force to extract one out of there. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. That's still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Pretty good shot right there. And getting ready for the putt. Par for McElroy, but you're just waiting for right, the moment. I'm gonna be live on that Black Ops here in a few. Pulls away. Back to the second hole here at Bay Hill, Frank Long, par three. And that green slopes so much from right to left, so you can actually use the contours of the green here. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Maybe this tournament wasn't a good idea. No, it's that sneaky distance. Yeah, I'll be on in a few. It, Frank, if you don't hit it. Hubert Green once said, 99% of putts left short don't go in. I don't know what happened to the other 1%, but... Putt drops. Now at one over par. Now at the par four third. Frank, this is a great golf hole. It certainly is. Remember, the brain doesn't wrench, register don'ts. So aim right. There's a bunker down there. Keep focusing on where you want it to go. He's loading up on it. Uh, look at the coil there. Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. That one ends up in the rough. That went sideways. This requires a lot of speed through the ball. <laughs> Superb shot. Well, that's uh, it's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. And so just getting started, even par so far. Rich Lerner with Frank Navalo back at the fourth hole. It's par five, the first one on the golf course, and Frank, a really good scoring opportunity. It certainly is. Two bunkers down the left. Just want to keep it inside that. If you flare it a little right, there's a hazard that just sneaks up on you. Hazard? No. Wet. No. Frank, not easy to keep your eye on the target when you've just splashed down. Yeah, but uh, on the flip side, too, one bad shot doesn't have to lead to two. So this will be the third shot after taking the drop with the ball going in the water. Headed for the bunker. Playing a par five. Frank, what happened on that third shot? Yeah, it's poor decision. But, um, well, hopefully he can eradicate that from the, the memory banks and um, really knuckle down on this. Do not want to drop a shot or make six here. Frank, that reminds you of maybe what, the greatest bunker player of all time? Settles in over the putt. Go. 
Routine stuff for Rory, that's a par. Fifth hole at Bay Hill. Frank, this is a chance to employ some course management as opposed to maybe brute strength. What do you think? Yeah, rather soft par four. No water here, but uh, bunker down the left and bunker down the right. Pinches into that corner. So uh, if you're a little wayward, an iron here is not a bad idea. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Frank, it hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. Yeah, it, uh, you, you wonder what he was thinking on that. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Rory McIlroy looking to take advantage with this putt. Two's always better than one when you're counting birdies in golf. Frank, the sixth hole here at Bay Hill, this is not the hole you want to be playing if you have a case of the snap hooks, is it? No, the snap hooks, you'll never leave the tee. Dozen balls, you'll still be gone. This is not hitting in the right direction. You know, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Be a little disappointed with that because it lands in the rough and it appears to be fairly thick over there. You'll need to be strong with this. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. These putts keep the round together. much just right that ah! definitely got below the lip you know the level of the lip there can't believe that one frank that was a complete horseshoe right there rack up another one breathing a sigh of relief you made it through the par five without getting wet now you're at this par three seventh frank you've got to guarantee a carry at least seven or eight yards onto the screen because that's where that bunker is on that right it cuts in seven yards good looking shot right here To generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. Frank, this would jumpstart the round. A third straight birdie. Some good playing. Well, we'll never know if that had gone in, because it never made it. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Holding steady now at two under par. Getting ready to tee off here at the 8th. Frank, this hole has it all. Dog leg, bunkers, water. How do you successfully navigate it? It's such a pretty looking hole, Rich. That bunker down the left just sort of pops out and you see it. So you can either work it off that to the right, either that or just aim a little right. But be careful of those trees on the right. Not looking good, Frank. Uh, I think it's wet. So toweled off, dried off, and ready to go. Yeah, let's hope uh, this ah. one hasn't still got the floaties on. Third shot now after the last one found the deep blue. Yeah, you can still minimize the damage here. It's only one bad shot that you got punished for. Oh, I can't hide the flag stick from that man. Just five feet left. Has his par. It's a consistent theme here at Bay Hill. If you can carry it 300 yards. Bay Hill always favors the longer hitter. That is just a beautiful shot. Frank, you want to make the turn in style? We're here at the ninth, the approach shot, and what are we looking at? Big green, one of the biggest on the golf course. Uh, this hole's changed a lot with equipment over the years, so long iron, even a mid iron for some people, to a very uh, generous green. Just pitch it on the front third. 
and uh, you'll be having a birdie putt here at nine. Safely on the dance floor. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Two under par for the round. Setting up to start the back nine here, and if it's anywhere near as good as the front nine, Frank Hill will be very happy with his score at the end of the day. Yeah, the hardest thing right now is to just keep doing the same thing without focusing on the score. That's out of bounds, and it'll cost him a shot. Now on his third shot after being penalized for going out of bounds. Yeah, tough break, really, Rich, on that last shot. It just got away from him. Attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Well, he'll be disappointed with that. No I doubt. Am. Your swing didn't quite look right on that one. That is professional with a capital P right there. That's stealing. Another par four here, the 11th. It's just under 440 yards. This time, there's water looming left and then bunkers on the right-hand side. It's a pretty good challenge, Frank. This hole's very similar to the third hole uh, on the front side. Two bunkers down the right side. Just got to keep, keep it a little left. You don't have to hit driver here. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Frank, 574 yard par five. Scoring opportunity here. The breeze behind, once again, a reachable par five. Uh, the hardest thing about this hole really is the green. It's raised up a little bit, slopes off on either side. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if, if you know what you're doing. So missed the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. So after the layup, Frank, here at the par 5, 12, hit shot here, try to make birdie. Yeah, just use the contours of this green. Uh, you can actually get to this flag a lot of different ways. Uh, using one of the mounds, there's nothing wrong with that. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. That's a birdie for McElroy. He's just so explosive. Frank, the par 4 13th, relatively short, but not necessarily easy. Yeah, stringent tee shot. Uh, a lot of people attempted to take a bigger club off the tee. 300 yards runs out of the fairway, but really, what does that give you in? That should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. 
That one was running so hot. Let's see what the dominant number one player can do. Rory McIlroy now on the approach shot. Oh, get down. Look out. It's over. The green. Just averted danger right there. So close. What does he have all the luck? Starting to fire on all cylinders. A couple of birdies in a row and now four under. 14th hole, Frank, more than 200 yards, par three. This is no picnic. No, it plays a little longer than that, too. Slightly uphill. You've got to carry the ball onto the front of the screen. It will not run up. Midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. Frank, dare I say, he's about to enter the zone. Oh, it just looks way too easy. Everything in the right direction. I hate to say it's a formality, but it looks like four in a row. He'd settle for par here. Clean this up with a tap. Did the job right there. At the 15th hole now at Bay Hill, this is a massive dog leg, Frank. Yeah, if you're a Bubba Watson-type player and you can move the ball around, you can move it left to right, that'll certainly help the tee shot. Uh, if you're average Joe, though, just hit it down the left. Take your medicine. Now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. See if he does it here. These are the kind of putts that keep a round going about 10 feet away from par. Rory McIlroy looking to take advantage with this putt. Four under on the day. The Bay Hill Club and Lodge features a really exciting finishing stretch. 16 is a reachable par five. You'll see eagles and birdies there coming home. 17, a very difficult par three over the water. The bunker is there, takes an excellent shot. And that 18 is all you want. We know that with the water in front, that second shot which comes over the lake, and that's a hold your breath moment. It is a great finishing three hole stretch at Bay Hill. That appeared to be a good strike right there, Frank. Oh, good. It's just towering. Look at that hanging in the sky. Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. Frank, this is really one of the fun spots on the golf course. The second shot here to the par 5 16th. It is. It's a, it's a cool vista when you're hitting that second shot across the lake. Uh, another high hanging second shot is really the way to play it. Um, that flag on the left, you've got to make sure you take enough club to at least carry the front third of this green. Starting to put something special together. Six under par. Frank Parkley, 17 here at Bay Hill. How difficult is this hole? This one takes your best tee shot, Rich. Otherwise, you're just looking at four or five. Oh, nice strike, Rich. Not quite directly in line with the flag. Just drifting a bit to the right, but he'll settle. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Just singes the edge, Frank. This is five-foot yeah, putt, and I'm seven feet out. The edges. You know you're hitting good putts. So they'll tap in. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, this is a stout finishing hole, the 18th, isn't it? Yeah, it finishes that great run of 16, 17, and 18 and so many times. 
we've seen disaster and triumph just on those final three holes. Frank, right where you want to be. Oh, wouldn't be better if it was on a tee. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. He can really get red hot with a putter. Let's see what McElroy does. Good stroke, just came up empty. Lining this one up for par. Routine stuff for Rory, that's a par. Frank, that was an impressive round out there today. Couldn't agree more, Rich. Uh, we've seen some great shots out there, and I'm excited to see how the rest of this tournament plays out.